Shalom, it's Izzy, your Hebrew teacher here, and this is Hebrew Chapters with Holy Language Institute. We are reading Deuteronomy chapters 11 and 12 today. Not all of chapter 11, mind you, just the last section, because it's the beginning of the Torah portion that is called Re'e in English. And, as you'll see, it's named after the very first word in this reading. So, let's, uh, let's pray together, and then we'll jump into the text. Thank you, Abba Father, for this exciting opportunity to read your word together. Thank you so much for the joy of reading your holy word in the language in which it was written, written by the hand of Moses and read by our rabbi, Yeshua the Messiah himself. I pray that you would speak to us as we read. I pray that you would uh, that you would open our minds to understand your word. I pray that you would help my students to learn this language and to hear the voice of our rabbi Yeshua, who, um, who studied these words, who quoted these words, who taught from them. For many uh, many years of his life and uh, thank you thank you so much for it thank you for your ruach your spirit who is here with us right now amen so we are uh, going to beginning in the book of deuteronomy chapter 11 in verse 26 deuteronomy 11 26 and then we'll be moving on to read all of chapter 12 this is the 47th parasha or Torah portion, and it is Parashat Re. So, let's begin. Re. Si. Anochi. As you know, Ani in Hebrew is I or me. Here, Anochi is uh, emphatic. It means I myself. Notain. Am giving. Lifnechem, uh, literally, to your plural, panim, faces, uh, meaning before you. I am giving or placing before you. Hayom, the day, which is how you say in Hebrew, today. Hayom, today. Bracha, which is a blessing. Fascinating, actually. As you know, most abstract concepts in Hebrew are rooted in concrete terms, whether that be a concrete object or a concrete action, physical action. Here, we have the Hebrew word for blessing, bracha. Uh, this is this word, a word that comes from the same root as the Hebrew word for your knee, which is berech. So your knee is berech. Your two knees are your birkaim, that's like the dual form in Hebrew. And then uh, the, the uh, Hebrew term to kneel is, uh, is related. So there's something about the Hebrew concept of blessing that is connected with the physical action of kneeling. I will leave it to you to uh, mull that over in your mind, uh, discuss it as a group what that connection may be, and if you can see any places in Scripture where the physical act of blessing is connected with the physical act of kneeling. So I place before you today, bracha, a blessing, uklala. The uh, verbal root here, kalal, is related to um, a word to, uh, to, make, to be light or to make light, uh, in contrast with being heavy or making heavy. What is the idea here? What's the connection between a curse and being made light? Hmm. There's another thing for you to meditate on, turn over in your mind, and uh, see what you can come up with. <laughs> You're like, Izzy, tell, tell, tell me the meaning. What, what is the meaning of the parable? And I'm not going to tell you. Uh, maybe, Maybe the Spirit will teach you some things about it. If you, if you stop and think about it for a bit and, and ask him, that would, be, that would be pretty sweet. So reading on. <laughs> Et ha bracha, the blessing, 
אשר, um, which, or maybe perhaps you could understand that as when in this context. This, this Hebrew term אשר can mean uh, like basically who, what, when, where, which, depending on the context, right? So you have to really read it into context. So the, the bracha, the blessing, אשר, when, תשמו, you shema, you listen. L to mitzvot, the mitzvahs or commands of, and here we have the name of God spelled Yod Hey Vav Hey. Um, I'll I'll be reading this as Adonai, which is the Jewish tradition. When you see the name of God, you read Adonai, which means my master in Hebrew, usually translated as the Lord in English. Um, most scholars today believe that the name of God was originally pronounced Yahweh in Hebrew. And if, if, um, if it's your minhag, like if it's your tradition to read the name of God as Yahweh, I welcome you to do that also as you study through these texts along with me here. So if you uh, listen to the mitzvot of Adonai, Elohechem, your God, your plural, you see the chem on the end, your plural, your plural Elohim, Ashel, here we have Ashel again. Earlier, Ashel meant when. Here, Ashel means which. Anochi, I myself. Mitzaveh, am tzavaying you, commanding you. Etchem, here's the you. Etchem, hayom, today. Ha klala, the curse. Im, if, lo, um, don't, you don't, tishmu, um, shema, listen, if you don't listen, el, to mitzvot, the commands of Adonai, elohech. Thanks for watching this trailer. To get this whole talk in audio or video format, go to holylanguage.com and subscribe. I'll see you there.